I'm ready to show you five profitable products to sell on Amazon right now so you can end up waking up in the morning and seeing sales on your phone. About 4,000 this week so far, 13 sales on the day. And I wanna show you how you can do the same thing with a business model called Fulfillment by Amazon. But it's a reliable way to make money on the back of the mega e-commerce platform, Amazon, by buying products from overseas, shipping them directly into an Amazon warehouse from your Amazon seller account, listing the products, and as they make sales, Amazon ships them out to the customer. In this video today, I'm gonna show you how I use a software called AMZ Scout to find these profitable products. It's amazing that there's software out there that shows you how many sales a month certain product categories are making, how much competition's there, and how likely you are to succeed in different niches on Amazon. So let's jump right into my computer and start this tutorial slash free giveaway of amazing product ideas right now. The product research software I use is AMZ Scout. This one happens to have pretty much the best price for what you get. There are different bundles you can pay monthly, whatever you want, but all the tools like the product database, which helps you find potential products to sell, their Chrome extension, their keyword research, Everything is in here included in this plan and bundle. So I'll have the link and a discount for AMZ Scout in the description box of this video if you're interested. But let's jump in and I'll show you how the software works to see if it's really something you can see yourself doing and finding winning products. You'd be surprised because the products we find are not the saturated ones you already know about. You need a software that's gonna find special niches. As I said before, there's keyword research methods where you can find all your top competitor keywords. There are learning tutorials. There's a lot that comes with this software, but for today's purposes, we're just gonna be finding five winning products for you guys that you could potentially take off and start on your own right now. I mean, even this first one, like I'm saying, is a really unique, weird, what the heck kind of product is this? It's a diaper bag backpack. That's something that I would actually simply open up in a new tab, just like that, right click, and now I have this product right here. Now I'll dissect this really quickly for you and show you what I look at when finding a good product. So right out the gate, I see 50 bought in the last month and it has only a 2.5 star rating. So I would be curious to, if I'm interested in selling this, read the negative reviews, see what I can do to improve on this backpack. But the main thing is not just looking at one backpack. Obviously there's other competitors, so what I need to do is take the main keyword, which you identify by usually the first keyword in your title is gonna be weighed the heaviest. So Amazon sellers will often put that in the front. That's what tells Amazon mainly what the product is. That's where you find your main keyword. Then I come up to the Amazon search bar, paste in that main keyword, and you can get other suggested keywords that come up that can help you niche down to find a better backpack or one that's getting more searches. Like what is it that customers are really looking for? They're looking for it to be waterproof, maybe made out of leather. So as you can see, there's already a lot of clues Amazon leaves you to show you what are good products to start selling and what are customers really looking for on their platform. Now, a pro tip is to come over to this button here where it says baby and actually press that and say all departments, which is at the top. And now we're gonna search in all departments to get the most broad organic look at all the diaper bag backpacks. What I can do is actually here is the extension that plugs in, I can press it. Also in the upper right hand corner, I have the AMZ Scout Chrome extension. You can see there's so much information within this extension, it is kind of mind boggling. But even more mind boggling is the estimated sales with some of these products here. This person in position number one is making 12,000 sales of that backpack per month, $481,000 in estimated revenue. I can filter by the reviews and I sorted it to show only the highest reviews going down. I should be able to come down and still see people within 80 reviews, 100 reviews, still making a lot of money. So this person here is doing 87,000 with 149 reviews, 33,000 with 159 reviews. It's not the typical looking diaper bag backpack, but it says in the title it is a diaper bag backpack. So the new versions could possibly be able to make more sales than if you're 
just selling the same one as everyone else. But we wanna see an entire market really having high sales without heavy, heavy high reviews. So if I say estimated revenue, I can sort here and I'll do that going down. And you can see there's some people within the hundreds of reviews, but I wanna find a product where most people on page one have under 100 or 200 reviews. If I can find that, then the niche is not already saturated. This is more of a saturated niche. You can see over a thousand results coming up for diaper bag backpack. Let's move on to the next product. Okay, after doing a little scrolling, I came across what looks to be another good opportunity to be a private label product, not something that's already branded by a big name, Nike, not a piece of clothing which has low profit margins, high returnability. This is a kind of weird, unique type of lamp that I'm gonna go ahead and open in a new tab. Now let's do the same thing and dissect that product real quick. If you remember, what we have to do is take the main keyword and it's right there in the front again, mushroom lamp. I'll go ahead and paste that in. We scroll through the page, see all the different types of mushroom lamps. There are a lot of different types, so that's where it's gonna be important to maybe niche down a little bit. Customers are looking for glass ones, wooden ones, red ones. Uh, I can even type in a letter like that and it's gonna pull up more keywords, mushroom lamp tortoise shell. I bought some Ray-Bans that were the tortoise shell style and look at that, there's a literal tortoise shell mushroom looking lamp. This is a keyword that's probably not gonna have a ton of results but lo and behold, there are a few tortoise shell ones. But let's just take the main keyword, run the Chrome extension and hopefully we see less saturation in terms of how many reviews people have and still a high amount of sales. And we can see the sales, revenue, and reviews right here. These are the three main things I look at. Once you find a good niche, you can come to the suppliers on Alibaba button and you'll see it comes up with mushroom lamps right here for seven and nine dollars. We see revenue really high for a lot of these top sellers, but their reviews are also pretty high. But then we get into what I like to see right here, that sweet spot where it's just 16 reviews and they're making $17,000 in revenue a month, probably making 40 or 50% profit on that after it's all said and done. 62 reviews, 14K, zero reviews, 13,000. So we're seeing all pretty much under 100 reviews and still over $10,000 in revenue for just one product. Another thing I like to do is come and impress on new products and trending products within this tool and it's gonna give me a different set of results. And I'm just looking through these images to find something potentially doable. Uh, please don't do coke in the bathroom, neon sign, neon signs in general could be cool. All this information and more I cover in depth in my full Amazon FBA course. And that's literally all you'll need to understand every little in and out of selling on Amazon. A lot of people give up, but if you have someone helping you and giving you that kickstart and the right information to go off of, there's really a low chance of failure so long as you at least get a product in Amazon. If you can at least get it in there, you'll make sales. And because you're buying a product at a tiny fraction of what it's selling for on Amazon, you can even cut your price in half, still make all your money back. It's not like the stock market or crypto where if you lose or you're out of your money, like there's no way to get it back. With this, you have a physical product you can always sell. So I just ran the numbers on the neon don't do coke in the bathroom sign and looking specifically at the neon sign ones because some of them aren't neon signs out here. This neon sign has 46 reviews and they're making 14,000 in revenue a month. That's pretty good. This one has 73 reviews, but they're only making 2,000 dollars a month. So I want to see more consistency with a similar product and they all are making good sales. In particular, if the listings all have bad listing quality and you know you can come do better photos and stand out with a bundle, then you can potentially take a lot of the sales from that other seller making more revenue. Web shooter toy? Let's look that one up. Okay, we found all the web shooters. I see some people are avoiding using the trademark term Spider-Man, which is smart. Uh, and they're kind of having this little either Nerf blaster or suction cup one. So let's run the numbers on that, which I've been doing here in the background. Let's sort by revenue, excluding that one. That's not the web shooter we were looking at. So I can press the X here 
and kind of just make sure I'm looking at the web shooters. And even still down here now with a lot of people under 100 reviews, they're making over 10 grand in sales. Two reviews, $12,000 a month in revenue. Would $12,000 a month change your life? Well, it's only a matter of you shipping the product in and having like two friends leave you a review and you could be making these kind of sales. That's coming right here. Looks like they're doing a two pack. So I would definitely advise on doing a two pack. They have the Nerf shooter one and the suction cup shooter one. The price point is kind of low around $15, $20, but doing a two pack can allow you to chip up that price. So strike that one up for a winning product. I wanna drive your attention to this visibility score, which shows that only 0.002% of users have found this niche. So a very small amount of sellers notice the niche while researching markets, the chances of making a successful business and significant profit in this niche is extremely high. So having a lower visibility score is good, whereas a higher niche score is also gonna be good for you here which the software gives you a pretty good rating on the competition, demand, and profit of this niche right here. Now, when you get the software, you can put in a lot of different filters here. So you can choose which categories you wanna sift through. You can choose a price point. And now I'm actually gonna say I want a product at least $50 on up to $200, targeting a higher ticket product, which is allowing us to make a lot more profit for sale instead of a few bucks, we can look to aim and hit 30 or 40 or $50 profit per sale. So five sales a day is over $250 pretty much and that can really start to change your life actually fast. So that's how you use the product database. You put in all these different filters and it spits out the products that meet that criteria. Emergency survival kit, let's open that one. Here's all the products and let's run your extension. This is how you get your reps in. You search in product keywords, run the extension, and just start looking right in here. Do we have a general amount of low reviews and high sales? You can still jump into a market that's more competitive, honestly. It just comes down to the bundle you're making. My dad got into fitness tracker watches. I told him it was way too competitive. He ended up making 40 sales a day of his watch because he stood out and made a really badass looking listing. This looks a little too competitive. You can tell with the images, people have really kind of outdone themselves and they're still only charging around 40 bucks for it. Let's see, a backseat extender for dogs. 33 reviews, 10 grand, 25 reviews, 13, 15K, 7K with two reviews. So it's just a matter of finding a good product like this that has low saturation and how are you gonna stand out and do something different? You can come in, scroll down halfway on a listing and see what's frequently bought together and you can find good bundle ideas like that. I found this boxing reflex ball, which looks like you tie to your head and punch it. Uh, let's see those numbers. Some people are in the thousands of reviews, but they're still making $30,000, $22,000, $343,000 with 155 reviews. So as you can see, it's not too hard to find a unique niche and the procedure is the same. So as you get more reps in, you learn how to do this faster, better, and really can start finding four, five, six products in a day that are good for you to sell. And you can narrow it down to one or two, start making a few thousand dollars profit a month with those. Now I'm at 14 sales on the day. Just made another $60 sale while I was filming this video. And that's really how passive it can get for you to the point where you just call your supplier, say, hey, I need 300 more of those. You can choose between air or sea shipping, get those dropped off at an Amazon warehouse and you are free reign to start making sales. If you found any sort of value in this video, drop the thumbs up, subscribe for more, and don't forget the resources will be linked down below in the description with any discount codes relevant. I got you guys, all right? Talk to you later. So we found the diaper bag backpack, the mushroom lamp, the web shooter, the boxing reflex ball, and the backseat extender for the dogs. These are all products that you could potentially get in and start selling right now.